so uh, my name is Yves Dumoulin. Uh, I've been a CPA since 2007, so it's been about 17 years. Um, most of my experience was with external reporting. So I was putting together SEC filings uh, you know, for SEC registrants. Uh, so putting together those like 10Ks, uh, 8Ks, um, 10Qs. And then I also have uh, a lot of experience with uh, accounting research. I moved to Windland about uh, a year ago, a little more than a year ago in June of 2023. Um, so I'm a senior manager of Record to Report. Uh, so I oversee uh, month and close um, and then any types of entries like at corporate, at the corporate level. Um, and then account recs, uh, and then also involved with uh, preparing financial statements, uh, putting together annual reports, any like corporate type data requests for like financing. We came from a, a divestiture uh, from from like a previous company. Um, so since the previous company uh, was using Nikisa. We thought that, and you know, they did not have any issues with it. They were really happy with it. So we thought that was the best, uh, the best fit for us. But we did, uh, we did go with the um, the cloud based version. So I guess the the latest version that that we that we uh, elected to 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 use. What I was most worried about is that the putting together this clear entry to eliminate all the balances from the fierce company and also the difference between assets and liabilities. And I was hoping it was going to match against the difference that Nikisa would put in that clearing account. And so it did take me a while to put together that, that entry to clean up everything and start with uh, start over with Nikisa. Everything worked out perfectly. Uh, everything cleared, uh, you know, <laughs> the difference in assets and liabilities between Nikisa posting and what we brought over from the system uh, clear perfectly. So then we started over with uh, the Nikisa the most you know proud of like accomplishing like the it was a it was a really good transition we worked with a couple people from Nikisa during implementation so yeah they were very helpful they guided guided us through like the different changes that we need to make to uh, make to accommodate our, our our needs and be what we really need what we really need needed to load um with with our own uh with our own uh Nikisa cloud-based version. When we, uh, we have an issue, we can just, you know, uh, submit a ticket and then, you know, depending on like the priority, we get a response, you know, within like a day or, or a few days. Um, so yeah, I always get like good support. I always been able to resolve like any issues that, that came along. I, I think at year end, it's going to be like our, my biggest like time save to just like run all those disclosures out in case because I know how much of a pain it was to, you know, put together all the all the 10Ks and 10Qs disclosure for leases. And when I saw that you can just run all this out of Nikisa, I think it's it's gonna be great. So I can have more time to focus on other things than lease disclosure. If we did everything manually, we probably we would need a dedicated like person that would like be doing lease accounting versus Sammy. I mean, Sammy does a lot on top of, of lease accounting. Uh, yeah, he has a lot more responsibilities than that. So, but yeah, if everything would be done manually, especially with all the, you know, leases that we've added this year, uh, I think we might be close to, I don't know, maybe like half, half of a person's time, uh, during the year.